and welcome to the last episode of Cascade Cassette 50 on the Commodore 64. We've already covered 40 pieces of turd, so now we're going to cover the final 10. So we got Darby Dash, Space Search, Universe, Rats, Tanker, Parachute, Jetmobile, High Rise, The Force and Exchange. And the first turbo game for today is Darby Dash. Now this is a game where you and up to nine friends can place bets on imaginary horses. Now the chances of you actually having nine friends if you're playing this is pretty slim. So that's probably not going to happen, is it? And they're off now, it's bogs on the left, bogs on the left, bogs on the left. Oh, bullshit comes up in the round, the bullshit comes around now, piece of shit coming up, a piece of shit now, a complete bastard. No, nobody gives a fucking shit, do they? This is boring, boring, boring. So we'll move on to the next game. And now we come to Space Search, which is as boring as Darby Dash. The idea is you're supposed to fly your ship around to these planets, and if you go near the planet, you orbit it, you get some fuel, and it may be the planet you're looking for, otherwise you just crash into it. And to be honest, that's about as exciting as it gets. This is another dull, tedious game from Cascade Cassette 50, but it does have a lot of tough competition in that respect. So let's see what we've got next. This game's called Universe, and Cascade are back to the full rip-off mode again. Your spaceship in this game is called Enterprise, funny enough. And the sprite looks like a really, 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 really shit version of the Enterprise. So the game has one redeeming factor. If you say yes to resigning once you lose, the game has a decency to wipe itself from memory. The only bad thing is, it doesn't wipe itself completely from the tape, which I think would have been a cracking idea. In fact, if you deleted the whole entire tape, that'd be even better. So yeah, for the first time in history, this game has been loaded twice from the same tape. So you have to go through this tunnel, you have to avoid the meteorites which have a mind of their own and come at you randomly. If they crash into you, you die. If you crash into the wall, you die. Sometimes you don't die, the meteors crash into you. Sometimes you die, the meteors are just near you. And yeah, this game is yet another piece of shit icing on top of the shit cake that is Cascade Cassette 50. Time to move on. So this game is called Rats, for a reason known to absolutely nobody. It's basically a Simon Says game. You can choose between one or five skill levels, which affects the speed, and you just have to copy the tune. Except, you randomly get a syntax error the first time you try it. I don't know if it's just me that happens to, or it's everybody, but... Yep. Usual quality of Cascade 50. So yeah, when it doesn't crash, it's a serviceable version of Simon Says. You press the keys 1 to 4 to play the song in the same order as the computer does. And that is about it. There's absolutely nothing else I can say about this game. It, it works sometimes. That's the best review I can give you of it. So for game 45, we've got Tanker, which rhymes with Wanker, which probably is not a coincidence. So I think it's a rip off of some kind of helicopter game, chocolate or something like that. You have to go and rescue your people off the oil rig and then you have to take them to the tanker and drop them off while avoiding the f smoke which apparently kills you. Because instructions, it'll kill you if you're staying in a long time but not straight away but obviously that's all the bollocks because I just tapped it there and died. So yeah, it's boring. Very, very boring. Moving on. Next up in this fast bucket of bollocks is Parachute. This is a game equivalent of walking down a road, doing a wet fart and realising it's not a fart. That's the same kind of pleasure you get from playing Parachute. I'd go to a dentist and have my teeth drilled for fun rather than play this game. I would kick a bear in the bollocks and start a fight with it rather than play this game. I'd watch Transformers 2 grab... Actually no, no I should rather play this. But it's still shit. Next up, we got Jetmobile, which is a snake ripoff where you play a jet powered caterpillar. What? The actual fuck? So, yeah, you're a jet powered caterpillar who asks around and eat lettuce, 
without getting eaten by a crow and without eating yourself. So, yeah, it's snake. You can call it a jet powered caterpillar, but it's still snake. They try to like turn on its head by adding the crow that comes after you, but it's still snake. Nothing else to say about that. This is another low budget card game where you fight the forces of boredom while placing bets. And it's kind of a figures three card brag, something like that, which is basically poker for people who can't manage five cards. You, after you get the best hand you got, you can bet on it, you can fold, you can see them, and you can play something that isn't as shit as this. The second to last game is called The Force. I was pleasantly surprised to find out that it isn't a rip-off of Star Wars, but I was less pleasantly surprised when I actually played a piece of crap. So it's kind of supposed to be an adventure game where you go fight monsters to get gold, but there's not really much adventuring. You attack creatures, and sometimes you'll randomly kill them and get money. Other times they'll randomly kill you. Then other times there'll be nothing in there, and you'll randomly be killed by an invisible creature. And then, if you've got any sense, you'll randomly turn it off. So finally, finally, we come to the last game, Exchange. Finally this ordeal will be over. Perhaps Cascade we're going to pull out all the stops and have one last final push to make a good game? No. We made Exchange which is basically a countdown ripoff. Which yeah okay that could have been alright, could have been a bit of fun. Except you can't actually play it. You get these little words and you're supposed to be able to make a word out of all the letters and you can't. It just ignores anything you press and 30 seconds later you get a buzzer and you failed. You failed. It's just. Pfft. What the actual fuck is this? It's like they thought, do you know what? Let's. They've the, the bought a cassette 50, they're already pretty upset that they play 49 shit games, so at the end of them, let's just really slap them in the nuts and give them an absolute piece of unplayable shit. Brilliant. Masterpiece. Well, finally, we've come to the end of Cascade Cassette 50 on a Commodore 64. And Cascade imagine a major feat there, 50 games and every one of them a piece of shit. So thanks for watching, that's the end of it for the Commodore 64. I'll maybe back later with Cascade Cassette 50 on different formats, depends on my sanity will allow for it. Thank you, goodbye.